Mr. Baxter. Paul, how you doing, Paul? You looking good, Paul. How's the family, Paul? How are the kids, Paul? How you doing, Paul? Actually, my name's Scarlett. Paul, first rule of business, don't correct the boss. Oh, sorry, sir. Don't worry about it, Paul. What are you having? Waiter? Well, I thought I'd try the steak. Have you ever had buffalo? Delicious meat. I swear, makes everything else on the menu taste like rubbish. It tastes like they cut it right off a god's ass. Delicious meat. You're having a buffalo. You're having a buffalo. That is the meat to have. Everything else on the menu tastes like boiled rubbish. Boiled rubbish, I tell you. You're having the buffalo. That's what you're having. A buffalo sandwich. Doesn't get much better than that. Waiter? Yes, sir. Uh, my friend and I are ready to order. Wonderful, sir. Uh, my friend will have the buffalo. Excellent. And for you, sir? I'll have the steak. Wonderful. And what will you be drinking this evening? Uh, we'll have the Chateau Don Fresco. Wonderful choice, sir. I'll be back with your bottle in just a few moments. Now, Paul, let's get down to business. Ah, oh, yes, sir. I want to start with marketing. I thought we were here to talk about sales. Paul, second rule of business, don't correct the boss. I thought that was the first rule of business, sir. Paul, 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 Paul. You're not off to a good start. Sorry, sir. Don't worry about it, Paul. Paul, the reason I want to talk sales with you Whoa, is... wait. Are we going to talk about sales now? Paul, do you hate me? What? No, sir? Why do you hate me, Paul? I don't hate you, sir. Come on, Paul. You can say it. No, sir. I, I, I don't hate you. Paul? You know, and I know, that you want to drive this knife right through my heart. No, sir. Come on, Paul. Do it, Paul. Drive this knife right into my heart, Paul. Sir? Do it, Paul. End me. Kill me. Right in this flipping four-star restaurant. Do it, Paul. No, sir. I won't do it. Good decision, Paul. Good decision. Because you know what? That was a trick. I I kind of figured you weren't serious, sir. I didn't want you to stab me in the chest with this steak knife. Yes, sir. It was a joke, Paul. All right, Paul. No more jokes. We're not here to joke. We're here to discuss business. Okay, sir. Where would you like to start? I want to start with sales. Good, sir, because I haven't had the sales... No, no, Paul. I don't want to talk about our sales. I want to talk about the sales of Haddon Hut. Haddon Hut? Haddon Hut. I... I don't understand, sir. Are they... Are they a competitor? No, Paul. They're not a competitor. Sorry, why are we talking about their sales? Paul... Did I tell you about the third rule of business? Um, can I guess, sir? You don't have to guess, Paul, because I'm going to tell you. Don't correct the boss. Sorry. Again, sir. Don't worry about it, Paul. Now, back to hand huts. So, why are we talking about their sales, sir? Whoa! Slow down there. You are on fire here. Don't you want to know what they make? Um, I guess so, sir. They make beanbag chairs. Beanbag chairs, sir. That's right, Paul. Beanbag chairs. Why do we need to talk about the sales of a company that make beanbag chairs, sir? Paul, let me ask you a question. What does our company do? We make and sell computers, sir. That's right. We make and sell computers. You must be a very hard worker, Paul. Do you work weekends? Yeah, sometimes, sir. Good. It's good. We make and sell computers. And I, I don't know if you know this, Paul, but it's very hard to make a computer. Have you ever 
tried to make a computer pull? Uh, no, sir. Let me tell you, it's hard. They got all sort of wires and chips, and it's crazy. I mean, it's very complicated. You know, I, I tried to make a computer once out of rubber bands and Vaseline, and, and you know what happened? No, sir. It blew up. It blew up right in my face, and that's when I thought, I don't know a damn thing about computers. I don't even know who made the computer. Do you know, Paul? Um, I think it was... Johnny Computer? That's what I thought too. But we're wrong. It turns out there is no Johnny Computer. Or Philip B. Toaster. Or Albert H. Deodorant. These people don't exist. And that's when I thought about Santa Claus. Santa Claus, sir? Santa Claus. You know who I'm talking about, right? Big, fat guy, red suit, comes once a year on... What is it? Christmas. Christmas. Now he's a big fat man, right? That's when I thought most fat people don't have any purpose in life. They don't. They just sit there and eating all day. So I thought, seeing as they're not doing anything, why not let people sit on them? Oh God. And then I realised that wouldn't work. Of course. Because if little kids tried to sit on them, then the fat people will just eat them, right? So then I thought, instead of fat people... Use beanbag chairs. Close. Let the children sit on the beanbag chairs and let the adults sit on the fat people. Oh my God. And then I thought of you. Me, sir? I would like you to head up this division, Paul. Sir, I must respectfully decline. Starting at... 500,000 a year. What? Wait. Better make it 550, just to be on the safe side. On the safe side? And of course, you'll need a new office. A new office? A corner office. With one, no, two secretaries. Two secretaries? And an expenses account. And keys to the executive washroom? Don't be ridiculous, Paul. Oh. Sorry, sir. Private washroom. This is an important project and you need to be able to poo in peace. Oh, that's great, sir. So, can I count on you, Paul? Sir, let me be the first to congratulate you on our new beanbag chair slash fat people endeavour. We're going to be rich, Paul. Very, very rich. I hope so, sir. Here's to business, Paul. To business. Now, where's the waiter with my buffalo? Uh, I had the buffalo, sir. Paul, did I ever tell you the fourth rule of business? 